All right, welcome back to our draft series of study ball, and we're going to continue on and take a look at Anthony Richardson, a guy that blew up the combine, the way he ran, the way he jumped, thought he threw the ball extremely well, and just, uh, you know, there was a lot of buzz coming out of the combine about this is the guy that's moving up the list because you see all the tangible stuff. You see all his physical ability, what he brings to the table, both with his legs and his arm. Uh, but there was some inconsistencies in college that you're going to see and you're going to have to go, okay, he's got to get better in these areas. So is he a guy that can come in right away and start? Is he a guy where you go and, and you draft him and say, hey, he's a year or two away? Uh, but let's dive into the tape and let me show you what I really, really like about Anthony Richardson. All right, so here we go. Obviously, it's the big arm, the athleticism that you really, really love. So you see it right here, just how effortless it is. Got a nice little double move down here. Boop. We call a seven pump. Guy coming free in his face. See the ability to deliver. It's effortless when he throws the ball down the field. 50 yards in the air. Easy right there for the touchdown. And you're going to see all of that stuff. And as a reminder to everybody, right, I take one game and I try to break down one game um, throughout the course of the year so I can see the ins and outs, the highs and lows, what they do well, maybe what they struggle with. Love this right here. So great job recognizing the rotation, safety coming back from the backside hash. He does a good job of eyeing over to this side and holding that safety back to that side. You see it, he got him to spin, turn all the way around. Then he's going to come back to this seam right here. Now this is a seam, knowing that he's got the free safety out of there, probably could have laid it up in the air. But again, just see how effortless it is. And this is on a rope right there, 35 yards on a rope. Great throw, good accuracy down the field. Kind of stuff that you love to see because you know the NFL is all about chunk plays, being able to attack down the field. All right. kind of throws that you love to see because the NFL is all about chunk throws, all about the ability to make second level throws. Your guy needs to be able to do that. This is a guy that can definitely do that. I believe he actually throws the ball better down the field and in those chunk throws than even some of the quicker stuff. Another one right here. Good job. See his eyes over here. Seeing this safety, I believe. Grabbing that post. Then he's got the shallow and the in coming back behind it. So sees that safety turn his back right there. Now he works to that in and see a nice throw standing in the pocket. Great accuracy. Another big chunk throw in this game. How about this one right here? You just how effortless it is. Okay. We're going to get this through to clear that here. We got the jet sweep pulling right there, and then we're going to run the deep over. And you're going to watch pressure in his lap right here. And look at this. Look at this. Guy in his lap right here. And we are throwing this up and over on the second level right here. I mean, just boom. Just a flip, flick of the wrist right here. Shoop. Let it go. Feet in different positions right on the money. Guy's not able to pull it down, but what a great throw that was, and I love it. I love it when these guys stand in there with pressure coming, doesn't phase them, and they've got the ability to attack down the field. Okay, another one. So they're bringing pressure right here. Now, looks like it, it, it should be hot here. Um, you know, a lot of these situations, these college teams, they don't have built-in hots, so it's kind of on the quarterback to make something happen. And so, just want you to watch this. Got a free hitter now. Offensive line comes off late. Does a nice job of picking this up, but you can't expect that. And so you see Richardson right here going up, oh, flips his feet right there like, I'm going to have to make something happen. But here's what I love. Now he sees that it's picked up, and look at him settle back in the pocket. Like, most guys see that guy coming. They move their feet like that. They're taking off, and they're running. Does a great job of resetting his feet here amongst traffic. And then look at this throw. Like, his guy needs to help him out. His, his guy here kind of slows down, messes up the angle. If he just comes flat and attacks the football right here, this is a pretty good throw, all things considered, avoiding that 
pressure, resetting in the pocket, balancing back up, nice second level throw once again. All right, really good throw right here. Now, okay, so this is what he does really well. Okay, this guy is gonna come in here and run a deep hook and he's got tight coverage on him. Now, I don't know how they're reading it. I don't know if they're saying we're going one to two to three here or not. Now, I only really like this one in here. Um, I kind of like to read it the opposite. So we've got a seven stop and a flat here. I like to read this high low and then work inside number three here. Looks like they may be reading this differently. Okay, but you see the contact right there, but you see all this space. I'd love to see him work through this or know exactly what he's thinking pre-snap, you know, because I'm watching the motion, okay? And when I watch the motion, right, this guy rocks back, this guy comes down. I see ahead of time, even if they're in man-to-man -man coverage, I have no idea who's covering this guy right here. So big picture stuff, but nonetheless off the play fake. If we're reading it inside out, you see the throw. Man, this tight coverage right here. But you see, nice throw on the body, sticks it on him, got the velocity to beat the defender. We get a nice chunk throw once again. Little play action. So this is the interesting one, right? Because we come back with the exact same play, and it almost looks like exactly the same uh, look on the inside. But for some reason, he's already passed that, and he's out to the other one. So again, that's why I just I put these two on here, because uh, I'm not really sure what's the difference between the two, why he jammed one in, but now why he works to another one. But again, tight coverage right here on the seven stop. Another good throw, right on the money. Needs a little help from his buddies here a number of times, a number of drops already in this game uh, on this tape. But I like the throw, right? The ability, he looks accurate, moving well in the pocket, resetting, and again, tacking down the field, which I believe is his greatest strength. All right, this one here. So again, always trying to decipher your know, big picture stuff, how they're reading it. So Florida State's going to roll back to a one high here, okay? And they're going to run a concept here uh, where they're gonna run a hook, an in, and then a corner over the top. Now, not an easy read by any means, but I always wanna come out and look at the corner first. Once I see them roll, to a one high, I just want to peek at this corner. I want to make sure that the corner is doing his job. Once he does his job and falls back, now it's easy for me to high low the underneath guy from here. So I want to peek the corner first. So I come back, see the rotation, peek the corner. Okay, what do we see with the corner? Okay, the corner is stuck eyeing this guy right here. Okay, for some reason, our eyes are down the middle of the field here. I'm not sure why they're not over further, but big opportunity here to this side, just getting your eyes in the right spot, but you see the athleticism again, tuck, run, go make a play. He's got the ability to do some things with his feet, obviously, seeing what he ran in the 40 and all that, but you know some of these things, I wanna see the rotation, I wanna see the eyes back here quicker. Just late getting his eyes back here, I'm not sure what he's thinking on this particular play, if he's just trying to wait for this big end to come over here, but I'd like to see the eyes start there, we wanna let we want to throw this ball on that front side hash or somewhere on this side. But again, doesn't jam it in, doesn't make a bad decision, goes and makes a positive play with his legs. All right, so I want to show this one here. So this play here is like a pure progression. So it's like a hitch, corner, and then they're going to run an over, a shallow, I'm sorry, I'm gonna run the shallow, I think an over, and then maybe like this, all right? So we're gonna read it one to two to three on the crosser and then just work our way back across, okay? So right there, okay? Maybe, maybe take the hitch right there. Get it out of your hands, be ready for that, okay? Don't like it, okay? Corner getting out of there, all right, come right to number three, okay? Seeing the processing. It looks like we got a decent pocket right there. Now we're starting to get free right here, but you see his feet already starting to turn, okay? Read it, we get chase over here, because once I get that, okay? Don't have this because the corner's falling off, but once I get that from the uh, outside linebacker, 
I'm kind of thinking that this is the one that's going to come open there, stand in the pocket, but now we're on the move. And you see on the move a little bit, he kind of jumps both feet in the air, not a real accurate throw right here, and throws the interception. So I show that because one thing I do like is when this happens in a game, we're not always gonna play the game perfect, okay? But they ran the play earlier, you saw what just happened. Now I like, he comes back, they're gonna run the play again, gets the same kind of look, right? Same kind of look, and now look, he takes it, right? He's confident, he knows what he's getting, and that guy's doing very much the same thing, right? He's buzzing through it, but it doesn't matter. I know what I wanna do with it, and again, I wanna go back to this last play. Watch this guy right here. Gets hung up on the corner, right. Okay, can you throw that hitch on this one? I don't know, okay, didn't really like it there, but come back and say to myself, you know what, I maybe could have made that throw if I come out ready to go. Here, he's a little bit quicker, more definitive, boom, sticks it on him. Really, really like that, that he's learning in the course of the game, right? That's a big part of it, is that you don't play perfect, but hey, something happens, you didn't see it, go over to the sideline, hey, next time we call it, be ready for this, he was ready, stuck it on him right there. All uh, right, and then this is the other part, right? We saw one scramble already, but you can get the quarterback design run game, okay? So some people have likened him because of his size and measurables to Cam Newton. Well, this is something that Cam Newton was great at, right? We're gonna run the quarterback power. Boom, right through the tackles. Get up there, use the big body. Got a little zone read, okay? We're gonna read the defensive end. Again, he comes up. Now, we've got a big-bodied quarterback, a Josh Allen, that can run up in between the tackles. Look at this. See the strength. See him pushing the pile. See him go. Man, after contact, almost busts out of there right there. Getting everybody hyped on the sideline. But this is what he brings to the table. The physical ability. You see the throws down the field. The chunk throws. The difference-making throws. Oh, now we're going to run a little bubble screen. What are they gonna do to the bubble? Oh, they're running two guys to the bubble. Now we've got a quarterback draw to the inside. We've got numbers, boom, find it. Ah, run through a tackle right there, get us a few extra yards, moving towards those chains. All right, this one again. His ability to make things happen. Come down the field, it's really good coverage right here. Okay, so running the over, we got a guy there, running the shallow, got a guy there, right? There's nobody open. See him climb in the pocket, eyes down the field, and then, oh, escape. Ability to escape away from the contact, eyes down the field, elude the pressure, boom, make a play. I like it. So, so much to like about Anthony Richardson. All right, so there's a good look at his strengths right? The big arm, the ability to throw it down the field. I feel like he's pretty accurate down the field, as I was saying on the tape. Sometimes he looks better throwing the ball 15, 20 yards than he does on the shorter things where he's not quite as comfortable with his technique. But when he attacks, man, he's really good down the field, the big plays. Then you see the athleticism come into play, and that has to have a lot of teams excited going, hey, our playbook can expand because we've got a big body quarterback that can run between the tackles, that can run quarterback draws, has speed, we can run all the zone read, the RPO stuff. So a lot to like about Anthony Richardson.